With the rise of artificial intelligence tools and technologies in the last year, the government contracting industry is rethinking the ways in which AI can be harnessed. In this interview, we spoke with Empower AI CEO Jeff Bowling to find out how AI is changing the GovCon landscape and what it might mean for the future. If you enjoy this interview, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you're interested in being interviewed, email summer at executivemosaic.com. Hello, and welcome to Executive Mosaic's video interview series. I'm Summer Myatt, and here to speak with me today is Jeff Bowling, CEO of Empower AI. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it's great to be here. So Jeff, earlier this year, you became CEO of Empower AI after several years as the head of Periton's defense work. It's also been a little over a year since the launch of the company's rebranding from NCI to Empower AI. So it sounds like a busy time for the company. What are some highlights you can share from this period? Uh, yes, it's been a very busy and exciting eight months. Uh, when I first started talking to the new owner, KKR, about joining Empower, I knew about the company from a couple of partnering conversations. Uh, NCI, now Empower AI, is really a true Beltway success story. Started in 1989 as an 8A small business and grew into a formidable mid-sized company that focuses on their customers' missions. Since joining, I have been able to visit our customers and employees in Arizona, Richmond, Virginia, and the local DC area. As you might guess, uh, these are the most important stakeholders, and I wanted feedback on how the company was doing. The new brand is gaining traction. The release of ChatGPT last fall caused a lot of interest in everything associated with artificial intelligence. We benefit from that in attention because of our AI platform, but our real focus remains on the mission, just as it was 34 years ago. Jeff, it sounds like a year that has led to a lot of change for Empower AI, and we will revisit that chat GPT conversation <laughs> a little bit later. But I'm curious, how has all of this change impacted you and the company's strategy overall? There has been a great deal of change, uh, but the team is embracing it, and there's a lot of excitement about the opportunities created with that change. KKR became majority shareholder in November of last year and believes very strongly in the future of our company. They had a different investment thesis than the previous owner and wanted us to focus on our core strength. This approach caused a change in strategy, which necessitated a change in leadership. I'm happy to say that the change in leadership is complete and we are diligently focusing on building a strategy for the next three to five years. Uh, there is one thing that is not going to change though, and that is our focus on mission and empowering our employees and partners to do everything possible to support those missions. So like you mentioned earlier, the adoption of AI in the government space has been a huge topic of interest lately, especially since the launch of ChatGPT last fall. But there is a spectrum of definitions when it comes to AI, especially in the government space. How does Empower AI define AI when it comes to federal agencies? That's a great question. Uh, we believe that artificial intelligence is the most transformative technology in decades. Uh, the launch of ChatGPT was the first time that artificial intelligence was put in the hands of the average user. Everyone can now harness the power of AI for everyday tasks. Uh, heck, my realtor uses it to write his listings. Uh, so CIOs and agency heads started asking, how can I use this in my environment? Empower AI answers that question by understanding the use cases being considered. As you stated, AI is not just one technology. It is a spectrum of technologies that begins with very basic robotic process automation, or RPA, and ends with advanced large language models 
like ChatGPT. Now, not every situation requires generative AI like ChatGPT. Many use cases can be solved with very simple bots. So we take a very practical approach to implementing artificial intelligence. So Jeff, what is the most significant trend you're seeing in the GovCon market today? And how do you think that will shape the industry going forward? Good question. I want to go back to my example of the CIO or agency head that wants ChatGPT. By saying that they want ChatGPT, you're really jumping straight to the end, which doesn't usually work out very well. At Empower AI, we believe that true applied AI is a journey that requires understanding your data, establishing the governance to protect that data, cleansing the data, and then ultimately leveraging that data to train the advanced algorithms. This will become a central theme in government in years to come. And it also happens to be what we do extremely well. So what shifts are you seeing in the GovCon labor market right now? And how is the rise of AI tools and technologies impacting the workforce today? We are all fighting to hire the best resources at a time when many companies are attempting to bring jobs back to the United States. On top of that, agencies are facing an ever increasing amount of information and tight budgets that won't allow them to simply hire more people to process that information. With applied AI, people no longer need to sift through this huge amount of information to make a decision. Humans and machines work together. That is when the true transformation takes off. This human to machine collaboration is going to require the proper training and different skills to work correctly. For many years, technology has been changing the way the government operates, but with AI, that sense of transformation is faster than ever. What advice do you have for people entering the government contracting industry, especially when AI and other emerging technologies are considered? It's simple, become AI native. Years ago, cloud technologies were just becoming mainstream. Now, cloud native organizations just assume that everything will be accessible wherever and whenever they want. AI will follow a similar pattern. AI native organizations will have access to artificial intelligence as a regular part of doing their job. It could be an, an AI assistant on their desktop or advanced algorithms that they interact with to help make decisions. You need to learn how AI can help you become more effective and achieve more, but in a very responsible and safe way. AI technology should never replace humans, but those who embrace it as a tool to help them achieve more mission will definitely have a huge competitive advantage. So my answer is simple, become AI native. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for your time today and for all the work you do at Empower AI. Uh, thanks, Summer.